We out here in the Amplify Experience number two. This time we in Denver with the homie. What's up, Ethos? She she just going down, baby. I would say I wouldn't perform that one. No. Cody, can you turn that down a little bit? Just a little bit. Um, I wouldn't perform that one just because it's a rap show and niggas know me for fast rap. I feel you. And everybody that's opening up is super fast rappers. Okay. So if I bring you up oh, and you yeah. do that, niggas gonna be like, what is this? Okay. So like just and keep that in mind anytime you do shows that Definitely. whoever you're opening for, you wanna give the most I don't wanna say the most similar performance to them, but the most like the best version of you that fits that. Like Definitely. I did shows opening up for Somo and Mike Stud, yeah. which were way different sets than opening for Tech Nine and Hobson. Yeah. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? So like you just gotta make sure that your shit fits. So yeah, let's cool. Should let I me hear another one? another one. Yeah, right, let, cool. you, you can just play it in my ear and then right, cool. I'll I got tell a you if that more. fits more. Well, let me know. I'm not going back, but I need to grab the Yeah, this is much better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you're gonna come up after OCD and they're chopping. You know what I'm saying? And because I'm gonna bring you up on my set. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna bring you up on my set to get the most impact out of it. So yeah, have you one. have you go up there? This this is much better. Yeah, shoot, shoot him that one. Shoot him that one. And we'll do that. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, I didn't want you to come up here and start singing that. People be like, uh, what's going on? For sure. Time and place. You know what I'm saying? If you open it for somebody else, that would make sense. I appreciate the advice, too, man. That, oh, yeah. that really means a lot. Oh yeah. For sure. Robin, what up, baby? How you living? Good, you? Good, good. Damn, I'm glad to be out here. Hell I, yeah, bro. I was talking to my boy over there. He's telling me this whole place been a pack. You from here? No, I flew out from Vermont. Oh, damn, from Vermont. <laughs> yeah, That's what's bro, up. A whole other side. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, I saw the opportunity. Hobson's here tomorrow too, so yeah, I was like, yeah, this to lined too? up perfect. Yeah, That's Hobson's my number one. I've been listening to you since. I don't know, I was in diapers, probably shit. So <laughs> I am the I greatest. Like that. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what's up. Uh, you got your song for him? Yeah, um, it's a five minute thing, right? Uh, it's like one joint during, so the way we're going to do it, instead of going first, we're going to do it during my set. Yeah. So I'm going to bring you up so that you get to perform when the most people are here. I didn't want y'all to have to go like Word? first. Okay. Yeah. So instead of it being five, it's going to be more like three. Does okay. that work or is that tough for you? No, nah, I can make it work. Talk if you want to do the whole five, like you're probably going to perform for right. the other openers. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, nah. It, I, we can do Leave Me Alone, then Misunderstood. Yeah, we can do that. That's I'm, I'm game with that. Yeah, 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 I'm blasting off. I got my shuttle box. I'm taking out on this spot. Yeah. My team is with me. Yeah. Roll the team with me. 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 Roll the team That's, oh, that you, shit bro. turned into a whole different <laughs> mechanism when I got it. That shit said like this. <laughs> what? But basically, so with the whole Indie Amplify experience, uh, just wanted to be able to give people, obviously, the best opportunity at shows and shit like that. Any, it's like, you know, a little consulting. Like, if there's anything you want to ask, anything you want to know about, shoot the shit for a little bit and um, yeah. then, yeah. Have a good ass time. The green room? That was my big. I was so excited to flex there, that. There's like, not even really a green room here, no. but we can go in there and do the Q and A in there for now. It's like a little production room. So yeah. we'll, we'll go in there now, chop it up for a minute, and then um, when doors open, I, I'm gonna head out to the hotel and change it, and then we'll turn up. To Uh, so yeah, anything you guys want to talk about, anything y'all want to know, any questions you have, I'll open the floor and you can yeah, start it up. Uh, shoot. What's the best way to gain traction, would you say? TikTok's uh, huge. TikTok is Instagram huge. Instagram Reels. I would say TikToks and collaborations. I would say collaborations more than anything because it's more than just a piece of content that can live and die right there, right? Like. A piece of content could potentially blow you up, which is yep. super dope, but if you can collab and partner with somebody else, then it's like, you're now being tied into their fan base. Just like you said, like, oh, Hop's one of your, one of your favorites. Yeah. Like, me being attached to Hop has probably led thousands and thousands of people to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then me being attached to tech, or me being attached to NF, and all these different people and platforms that I've been on, every time I do a collab or get on a new platform, I'm now gaining a fan base from that. Did a joint with Dizzy and then that turned into doing a tour with him and then another song and another song and another song. And so, you know, it's just kind of organically building 
and growing it that way is key but sometimes you can buy your way on the shit too and then it builds yeah, right. like even the first dizzy feature that's the only feature i really bought and really? yeah so the not for i guess i'll smoke but we did a song before called don't mind if i do uh, i love don't mind if i do yeah, and I, yeah, yeah, yeah and i bought that for 500 yeah. and that turned into like getting on their channel and then doing the tour and then during the tour we decided to make i guess i'll smoke yeah. and that song only happened because i don't smoke and he don't he didn't really drink at the time so every night i'm peer pressure him to drink <laughs> he's peer pressuring me to smoke so it's like I guess I'll smoke and we turn it into a song. As far as like uh, booking live shows like at the beginning of your career, what kind of led you to that? Was it more like open mics or like just going around like local areas? Um, and... How do people promote shows, right? They put up flyers, they get on Facebook groups, they go to schools, they sell tickets. So I would just hit up every promoter and I would guarantee like, yo, put me on this show, I promise you I'll sell 50 tickets. Had no idea if I was gonna sell 50 tickets or not. I was like, worst case, I'll just fucking buy them if I have to. Um, but I wanted to sell and keep selling. So what I did was I went to Facebook groups and anybody who said they were going to the concert, I would just message them and be like, don't get your ticket from there, get it from me. I'll also give you this and this and this, whatever. And like, I'll deliver it to you personally. So I'll just ride around all day. I'll, like I have numbers in my phone saved from like when I opened up for Mac Miller. I have like 500 numbers in my phone that just says, whatever their name is, Mac Miller tickets. Because I was just getting their numbers and going and meeting up with them, selling them tickets. Half the time I didn't even say I was performing. That way when they saw me, they'd be like, wait, that's the dude that sold me tickets, that's crazy. I would just give them my CD and the ticket and be like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a promoter, da, da, da. I'll be at the show, check me out. And so it kind of just started like that, just doing everything that I possibly could. And so then when the promoters were impressed, when I, I'd come back and be like, yo, I sold 350 tickets, they'd be like, we want you on every show. <laughs> yeah. Like, do the MGK show next week. Now do Yellow Wolf. Now do this. Now do that. When it came to booking my own shows, uh, I would rent out the venue. So you'd be surprised. A lot of venues, like, they make the bread on the bar. So if you can promise that people are going to come to the show, then they'll rent it to you for kind of cheap. So I would rent out venues, and then I would book a headliner, then I would open for them. Oh, cool. So that's kind of how I would do a lot of my joints. But... The biggest thing you could do is just really get in with all the promoters. If there's 10 venues in Colorado, cool. You need to know every promoter. And you need to go above and beyond to be the fucking best opener you could possibly be. Or help out doing other shit. Like, whatever it is to just do the most for somebody. Like, I'm kind of in a weird spot where in the last two years I've dropped, like, six songs. But it, I'm working on my album still. So, like, that time in between, like, filling that space, how do you, like, keep fans engaged and stuff? So it's just... <laughs> I mean, it's, as sad as it is nowadays, like, like I said, an artist and a content creator at this point is damn near the same thing. Like, if you're... You can't expect... Unless you're signed to a major label and have fucking millions of dollars behind you, there's no way you're blowing up without going crazy on social media. So, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get on that for sure. Um, I think something that keeps people held over is the remixes, the duets, um, like, it just depends on your brand though. Like some people have a good like vlog type shit, like MGK used to do Kelly Vision or Wiz Khalifa used to do his shit, but they had diehard fans that cared about their everyday life. Other people it's just like, nah, I wanna see you rap. Like just show me you rapping in different ways. You know, so like duetting and doing things like that, or you were singing, so like taking a song and flipping it into a singing joint or whatever, whatever your niche is and just giving it that, like, I feel like you should at least have one one new piece of content a week at this point, the way people consume shit. Yeah. Um, and that's like almost minimum, I feel like, you know, so, and it don't always have to be a song, it could be other shit, you know, but the way I like to work is I like to regiment my day, like, almost like a nine to five, like I wake up, I get an exercise in, and then I know from 11 to one, I'm filming shit every single day. Like, and you have to, whatever your schedule is, if you have a regular job, then you know, like, if my job starts at eight in the morning, cool, well, I'm waking up at six and I'm fucking filming from seven to eight because I got to. Or I get off at four, cool, from five to seven, I'm filming. Like, you just gotta really work it into your routine or else it, you're not gonna do it. And make it make it a habit and just, you gotta, yeah, you just gotta be consistent with all, with all of that. How's it gonna work? Do we just in the st in the crowd and you call us up? Yeah, it's gonna be after too easy. As the song too easy. Oh, yeah. I've manifested it. She all just posted day. a picture and you viewed it. That's right? all I've been singing all day. And he's like, "Will you please stop?" It's like literally. <laughs> there you go. I love it though. Instagram Manifestation day. at its highest. Yeah. There it is. So yeah, oh. we'll we'll bring y'all up after up. too easy and go back to back. Say less. Awesome. Cool. Indiana, Indiana Bye. Bye. Yeah. I didn't really think I would make it. Yeah. I didn't really think I would make it. I still don't want to.
be famous But a nigga cut a famous Now I'm just laughing at these niggas like ha, ha, ha. Alright, over the last couple years I've really branched out into doing the business side of the music industry and I started this company called Indie Amplify. Indie Amplify, as you see, is the motherfucking one-stop shop for artists, for creatives, anything that you want to do in your life, you can do it, you can sign up on Indie Amplify, you can sell your graphic design service, your videographer service, your features, your consulting, music reviews, whatever the fuck you want to sell. Through Indie Amplify, I love to give opportunities to artists, so I gave opportunities to two artists tonight to come up on my set, and I want y'all to be completely honest with these niggas, all right? We got two people coming on stage, they gonna do a song. If they whack, you gotta tell the niggas they whack. If they going crazy, you gotta hype, you gotta hype them up regardless, you know, and then get the constructive criticism after. But we got two people coming on stage. I wanna, I wanna shed, you know, this, this spotlight and let them come up on here real quick and do it. Alright, so we gonna get the first artist up here. Ethos, where you at? Ethos. Make some noise for Ethos. Alright, Ethos gonna do a joint real quick, alright? What's we, up, Y'all tell Ethos what it looked like. Ethos came to us through IndieAmplify.com and he gonna do this joint for y'all. Let's run. And I would take a shot, not on you, my guy. Yeah. How are you doing tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I wish you could go back to the days of me and my girl Ray play with it. Like we should okay. I was just a little boy in my grandma's kitchen playing drums on my coffee can. Yeah, that was a girl right now. I was sitting alone in my room and I don't know what to do. I'm just trying not to lose my fucking mind. My mind's in a twine with hypotheticals. Wait. Y'all rocking with Eagles? We're gonna bring out one more homie from Indie Amplify. Go ahead, bring that ass here. Boy. Let's go! Run it what up. up, Denver? Make some fucking noise. Futuristic Indie Amplify, East Coast, and everybody else. Let's rock this shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm blessed enough. I got some of the locks. I'm taking off in this spot. Yeah. Our team's with me. Rolling deep with me. Wanna join me up? Get 